Hi, hello and welcome to Chandu.org. In this video, we're going to look at one of the most classic and interesting Excel interview questions. Do you prefer VLOOKUP or INDEX MATCH and if so, why? Now, I have seen so many people throughout my career as a trainer and consultant and blogger and YouTuber, uh, people who take allegiance, really strong allegiance to either VLOOKUP or INDEX MATCH. In fact, I received emails from people saying that, hey, I am no longer using VLOOKUP anymore. I, I just only use index and match. Why do you still keep writing or blogging about VLOOKUP? Just tell people to use only index and match all the time. Right? But this is very strange because for some weird reason, people seem to have such a strong opinion about both of these formulas. So let's say you are going for an interview as a data analyst or a business analyst or or one of those kind of jobs where the interviewer asks you, so do you prefer VLOOKUP or index match? And if so, why? Uh, Obviously, a lot of it comes to personal preference as well. Like if you are somebody who is very comfortable using index match for every little thing, then you may simply say that. Uh, but I'm going to present uh, a view on what these two formulas are and when you should be using them so that you could give more comprehensive answer. Let's start with VLOOKUP. I would normally use VLOOKUP for almost all times when I need to do a lookup in a simpler situation. That means if I'm doing a lookup on a small table with just uh, 500 items or you know 100 items or 1000 items and I'm only doing a lookup of a particular item and getting the corresponding results and I'm only doing like five lookups or a single lookup, in such case I would use VLOOKUP in a heartbeat. I would not even think too much about the thing, writing an index match anymore because VLOOKUP is very convenient. It is a single function that gives me the answer of what you're looking for and then the corresponding match results. So that's VLOOKUP for me. But if I am writing, a, if I'm building a complex dashboard or a business model where I need to be doing thousands of lookups on a relatively large data set or even smaller data set, but I'm doing thousands or hundreds of lookups. In such case, I always try to do index match. This is because index match offers a really good structure for improving the performance of your workbook. And you, you can also save significant amount of time and make your formulas more consistent by using index match. But uh, uh, in general, for smaller data sets or simpler one-off one lookups, I use VLOOKUP. In larger data sets, I tend to go with index match. Here, I also should mention that if you have a really large data set and you're forced to do hundreds or thousands or even millions of lookups, then your first, perform, first question should be, can I avoid them, right? I don't want to use either VLOOKUP or index match. If there is a way for me to avoid both of these formulas, and get the result, then that is the best because uh, then your workbook will be faster, quicker, and it will provide the answers without having to write all those long formulas. Excel conveniently has a powerful feature for this. It is called relationships. So when you have multiple tables and you need to connect them to be able to tell the answer, let's say you got some sales table and customer table and you want to do some demographic analysis. In such case, you need to get the customer information, bring it to the sales table so that you can answer questions like how many uh, products customers of male gender are purchasing or age groups 12 to 15 are purchasing or something like that. In such cases, you can use a relationship feature so that you can connect both tables and then you will be able to set up a pivot report that brings the data points from both tables into one view. So that's my preferred method if I have to do uh, get data from different tables to do the reporting work. But let's say you are not able to use that and then you want to improve the performance of your lookups. In such case, index match is your way to go. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of both of these functions so that you can understand them and use them better. Over to Excel. So here we got our uh, a simple VLOOKUP. Uh, let's say we got some data here 
and uh, you just want to know what is the total sales for Jonathan. So you would write your VLOOKUP Jonathan on this data and then get me. So the data goes from B4 through E16 here, third column, and then false meaning I want the exact match for Jonathan. Don't stop looking until you find that. And then VLOOKUP tells me the answer is 1360. You can also use the same logic on a table. Uh, this time we are looking for H20 value, just C in the sales table and then getting the number of customers, which would be six is the answer. Same thing can be done with index match as well. Uh, let's say I type just C here and then what we can do is we can say index of sales, net sales match just see and then sales salesperson zero because just see is the salesperson right so we get the answer for just see as 726 which is that number there this is all good but let's say you want to do this look up on just see and then get uh, number of customers and profit loss as well you could potentially copy paste this formula three times and then change the column names in the middle, right? You could simply type uh, number of customers and, uh, and profit loss. That'll give me the answer. But the problem with this approach is in each formula, you're doing the match again. So this is running three matches and three indexes. What if we could cut down this? This is where the first approach comes. We could simply do the match once. Match sales salesperson zero. We get the number 10. And then in other formulas, we simply substitute that with 10. Right? So this would be the first performance improvement because now you are matching once but running the index formula several times. Imagine if you have VLOOKUP here, uh, you would be running uh, three VLOOKUPs, whereas now you're only doing one match and three indexes. So technically this would be slightly faster. You might be thinking if I'm only doing five, 10 VLOOKUPs, then it wouldn't really matter because Excel tends to be super fast anyway. So you would not notice that. But when you're doing it over a million rows and thousands and hundreds and thousands of lookups, then that matters. But here is another powerful technique that you can apply. If you know the row number that you want, you can also use index as an array function. All you have to do is select the four columns because I want to return all the four details for just C and then simply say index sales, get me the data from row number 10. Column number we just omit. So we place comma, but we don't say anything. We close the bracket. And then if you press enter, you won't get anything. But if you select these four cells, type the formula, and then you press Control Shift Enter, then Excel will give you that entire array of that item. So it will give me that entire list there. So this way, your index formula also you're technically writing only once, but now the entire thing is coming as as a list of items, and it goes here. So this will this should be significantly faster. When you combine this with the new features in Excel that Microsoft is la launching later this year, which is array uh, uh, formulas that are um, that can return a list of values rather than a single value, it will be very powerful. So I hope you found this particular analysis of VLOOKUP versus index match helpful. I wish you all the best with your interview. I plan to post more Excel interview questions in the upcoming videos on my YouTube channel. So if you like this, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and colleagues as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.